Marjorie Taylor Greene. I call her Captain oh, Wacky. Because <laughs> she is, oh boy, just uh, the wackiest. So she's known for uh, being the ultimate Karen. She is known for still continuing to spout lies and slander about pretty much everything. She also thinks Donald Trump is still president. Mm -hmm. I think we've determined she subscribes to QAnon. Uh, Yeah. yeah. I I feel like QAnon is actually not crazy enough for her. Yeah. Like Like when you're spouting off about Jewish space lasers causing California wildfires, like that's. That's like, like legit psychosis. Yeah, somewhere QAnon is looking at her and going, this lady needs to calm down. <laughs> <laughs> it's too fucked up even for us. So uh, she is is very much against the Biden administration. And she mm-hmm. has you uh, think? sent them several letters demanding frivolous things that have never come to light. Uh, and she keeps ambushing... Uh, Alexandria Ocasio Cortez with debate, debate me, you coward challenges on the uh, floor of the house. To which uh, AOC's response is security. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, according to GoneTrending.com, uh, the latest with uh, Captain Wacky here. Uh, bu- bu- Sorry. Which is basically almost a daily thing. Uh, so, according to them, quote, the letter which she sent to the Biden administration was written in crayon. <laughs> uh, the letter, which included a long list of coronavirus and pandemic falsehoods too lengthy to counter, was dismissed outright by many. But those who actually got to the end of the rambling missive managed to note that Green demanded answers on June 31st of this year, which is, <laughs> of course, a date that doesn't exist in the Julian calendar. <laughs> well, see, that's your problem. You assume that she is also on the, ca- the standard calendar. Maybe she's on the Gregorian calendar. <laughs> she's on the QAnon calendar. The You know, the one that said uh, January 6th and now August 22nd are the days that... Uh, Trump will officially become president again. Don't forget there was a day in April, too, and a day in May. Yeah, I'm not surprised. At least with one of those dates, wasn't wasn't one of those dates the original inauguration date, like back in the 1800s? Uh, yeah. I think that, yeah. Theoretically, yeah. I mean, but that whole theory was crazy for its own reasons because it was implying that every presidential election since then was illegitimate because... Uh, the Constitution had turned the country into a corporation, and Donald Trump was working behind the scenes to dissolve the corporation and become, like, the 14th president of the actual United States of America. (laughs) So there's really, you have to dig deep. There's layers of weirdness to all of these theories. Wow. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, so, yeah, June 31st. Um, not, <laughs> not a date that exists. And, uh, her, uh, it seems like she's standing firm on what it was. that was delivered to uh, the white house. There was no update to it with a much more, uh, realistic existing date added to or it. Realistic demands. Yeah. <laughs> well, doubling down is like the number one virtue of the modern Republican Party, right? I guarantee you if someone brings that up to her at a press conference, she will accuse them of ignoring the real calendar and say, no, I assure you, June 31st is a real day. You liberals are trying to cancel June 31st, but <laughs> true Americans know and you can't trick us with your with your far left socialist lies. <laughs> You know, I mean, that's the Trump playbook, right? It's yeah. Never, ever, ever admit you've made a mistake. That is true. I mean, that is what led to Trump literally drawing on weather maps in a Sharpie in order to prove hurricanes went places they didn't go. <laughs> because to admit you've made an oopsie is the biggest sign of weakness to the modern conservative ethos. I really, really want to know what his excuse is about his pants. Uh, if you don't know, I'm referring to TMZ reported today that uh, one of Trump's first uh, rallies, one of his first public appearances in months, 
his pants appeared to be on backwards. Do you, do you know how I know uh, that's 100% accurate? Because my three and a half year old will put his own pants on and will regularly put them on backwards. And I have to say that I trust my three and a half year old with a nuclear button a <laughs> lot more than the former president. So, I mean, yep. I mean, I'd say that's accurate. He put his pants on backwards. I, I don't mean to uh, potentially insult your kid, Mike, but I mean, Trump's got the same mentality. Uh, yeah, I, honestly. Yeah, I think Nick probably is a little bit more. Uh, I say a lot more empathetic. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, and I believe Donald Trump is more toilet trained. <laughs> <laughs> but it's up but in I, the air. But I don't want to I don't want to commit to that certainty. Um, Nick does tan better. Uh, he's also a lot less uh, morbidly obese. Yep. And um, I'd say they probably cheat at golf about the same pace. But <laughs> Nick would probably do it unintentionally. Like, oh, I'm going to move the ball closer because that's how I play. You know? Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I've had a few conversations with Nick before. And then I always see the exchanges that you and Sarah both respectively post on Facebook. And, uh, oh, my God, is that kid just with it? <laughs> Uh, Trump, by the way, his blog, rest in peace <laughs> and, and, and condolences to the four people who followed it. That's what happens when you don't have any bots following you. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's really interesting how far he's fallen. Like, I, I mean, we really thought he was this massive existential threat to the Republic. And in a lot of ways, he was. But he's just nothing anymore. No one has to listen to him. No one has to pay attention to him. And so we just don't. He is not it's, necessarily the threat to the republic. He is the 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 klaxon. He is the the canary to the, the republic. Yeah, the like, canary yeah. in the coal mine, yeah. yeah. That's good way like, it. Yeah, it's just weird to to like how afraid I mean, I, I I'll say I personally had a lot of anxiety throughout twenty twenty. And I know many other people did as well. And now in hindsight, it's just like, God, was he impotent? Like, and literally, uh, yeah. Like, I mean, he was the <laughs> most unpopular president in recorded American history. He never cracked 50% approval during his entire four year term. Meanwhile, Biden is currently the most popular president since Reagan. And no, no conservatives know how to attack him. Like they, they just can't seem to figure out what to rally around. Yeah. Because their, their leading figures are Donald Trump rambling at the buffet line in Mar-a-Lago to twenty people, <laughs> and Captain Wacky who keeps saying that the aliens are going to come make Donald Trump president on March twenty seventh. <laughs> Uh, I, I will say about Biden and his approval rate. Don't rating. forget Captain Pedo Pants. He wants to run in 2024. Oh, Gates. <laughs> uh, Matt Gates. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I, I will play a little bit of devil's advocate with Biden. He did come into uh, he did come into something that's uh, with, with the pandemic and the vaccines now becoming widely available and in him really pushing that initiative. I mean, it, it was sort of set up for him to have that degree of success, right? Like it wasn't like uh, you know, Clinton coming in in the middle of like, you know, wars happening out in, in Europe and then the, the Lewinsky scandal. It wasn't Bush having to deal with 9-11 and the war in Iraq and all of that. Um, you know, and Obama and the recession. It's, it's, you know, Biden, Biden kind of came into a spot where like the only, the only way you could go was up at that point. I, yes, but I also don't doubt the ability of a second term Trump to have massively bungled it. So, oh, yeah, while, absolutely. Well, any halfway competent leader would have come <laughs> into this situation and had the recipe for success fall into their lap. I don't think that's a guarantee that that was what would have happened no matter what. <laughs> yeah. We're I, lucky we got a halfway competent person in charge now. 
Right. And I, and I said before, I'll say it again. We have someone who's empathetic, who actually cares about people, not not someone right. who when, when even if he doesn't, he at least knows how to fake it. Yeah. Mm hmm. Someone who is not the the, the first thing he is going to do is not downplay the severity of the pandemic and say it'll be gone in a month. Don't worry about it. It's not a problem. Right. And yeah, like I was just reading an article last night from The Atlantic called the uh, the conservatives Biden problem. And it really is this fascinating because for the past for the entire time I've been alive, they've had very, very concise, consistent messaging about the Democrats. When it was Bill Clinton in office, he's corrupt. He's a philanderer. He's an adulterer. He's a rapist. He's, you know, and, and they absolutely hammered this home nonstop with Obama. He's a radical leftist. He's a socialist. He hates America. He's a Muslim. He wants to completely dismantle our way of life. With Hillary Clinton, they they she's a radical feminist. She's a complete, you know, she's part of the Clinton crime family. And with Joe Biden, they're all just sort of looking at going, uh, he's old and takes naps and uh, he uh, sh shit. Like they just can't <laughs> seem to figure out. And his son's on drugs. Wait, wait a second. Oh shit. Um... Yeah, literally everything they could hit him for. Donald Trump is the same thing, but worse. Yeah. <laughs> like they tried to go with the, oh, well, Biden doesn't speak very well. Yeah. Have you ever heard Trump speak two sentences back to back? It's fucking incomprehensible. Jim Apple. <laughs> <laughs> A little quick salads. You know what hydrosonic is? Water. I forgot, I forgot about that one. It's a fucking toothbrush. <laughs> uh, so, um, yeah, anyway, uh, Parks and Rec actually had a, uh, it was a fantastic show. Actually, had a very similar um, thing happen where uh, dates were mixed up. Where Captain yeah, Wacky. Yeah, I ever thought of that too. Captain March, was it the March 31st? Is that what it was? Yep, and uh, here it is. Hey, good morning. Why are there six people outside who say they're waiting to meet with me? So, you know how you love me because you haven't had a single meeting with anyone since I became your assistant? That's because every time someone calls and requests a meeting with you, I always schedule it for March 31st. Why? Because I didn't think March 31st existed. 30 days has September, April, March, and November. June and November. Today is March 31st. I know. So then how many meetings do I have today? 93. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, you know what to do. Right. To me, this situation is a blood-soaked, nightmarish hellscape. However, to Leslie Nope. Oh, how fun! <laughs> I, I, I also do appreciate that... Uh, People have pointed out Joe Biden is the first Parks and Recreations actor to be elected president. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'll take Nick Offerman uh, as a second. <laughs> I remember uh, Biden was on the first episode of uh, Late Night with Seth Meyers with Amy Poehler. Um, <laughs> and that was that d d despite Seth Meyers just being awful and his show being awful. That was a very enjoyable scene. Seeing them both there. Uh, Mike, does uh, <clears throat> does Ron Swanson specifically remind you of Mike Shu? Uh, uh, yeah, that, that kind of drab demeanor. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of does. Kind of does. I mean, uh, I think there's a little bit more jovialness in, uh, in shoe at times, but yeah. Oh, I mean, she's got the sense of humor. I mean, you don't see that yeah. with Ron Swanson. The closest you get is when he's drunk and he starts dancing. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe. Yeah, I silver. can see it. I can yeah. see that, that, that dryness there. Yeah. So, uh, there you go. Uh, so, uh, June 31st, whatever, <laughs> whatever craziness captain wacky wants to see done and acknowledged uh we will check in on the 31st of june to see all how right far we've i look forward to that episode <laughs> <laughs> a june 31st special uh the clip that i played from parks and rec the the video that i pulled it from on youtube was actually posted on march 31st 